Hey YouTube, MC Nash. This is the uh, part five of the Smith & Wesson customer service series. And hopefully the last. Yeah, it's pretty much the last. <laughs> Gosh, I hope. Got the uh, replacement. If for all who don't know, Smith & Wesson had finally agreed to replace the gun after servicing it three, three attempts and claiming over the phone by the customer service manager that they could not fix it. Uh, given the CNC machining that they currently have, they're not able to fix it. It was the reason that I was given. I'm not sure how valid that is, but you know, take it for what it is. So I got a replacement. I did accept the FFL. I did thoroughly review it, and I have to say, pretty disappointed, unfortunately. Um, it is better than what it was at first. Um, at least the barrel is not canting so far over that it uh, is not even with the frame. But here's the gun, brand new. They sent me a new one. I had to pay the uh, $25 FFL transfer and background check. But as you can see, the barrel, it'll zoom here and I can get some decent lighting. It's still off. Now, the reason why I say this is better, the sight picture does somewhat line up. I'll have to adjust it. But I mean, I, I'm, and I think Budget Armory One was the guy who pointed it out a couple, a couple vids ago in the series that it's probably the frame. You know, they can't, they've adjusted, like on my, on my previous one, they adjusted it three times. They couldn't get it straight with the sights. I mean, you could obviously tell the difference there. The reason why I kept it is because I can drift the rear sight to adjust, but there's no, um, wish I had a pointer. It's pretty even on both sides there. There's, the spacing is still a little bit screwed up. Um, the reason why I'm so calm and I don't care at this point is is because what I just said, I don't care anymore. <laughs> they did offer me my, my money back. Um, it's a shame because I really like the gun. And uh, I've spoken to many YouTubers. They've gone to gun shops. I've gone to gun shops. Pretty much every single one I've looked at and the mid-size frames have all been uh, screwed up. Um, so I would say, gosh, I mean, it's got to be more than 50%, at least the ones I've looked at. It's, it's a more of a rampant problem than what people think is what I'm trying to say. You know, um, she said, well, you can always get your money back and, and uh, f you know, find one that's straight. And I said, honey, <laughs> I, didn't give, I didn't use that terminology, but I felt like it. Honey, I haven't seen a straight barrel on a 686 in years. <laughs> That's a little exaggeration, but um, just recently, I mean, I have not seen a straight one in a gun shop or a gun show. I have not seen one straight one. And I've looked at probably 20 or 30, not one. I mean, that's got to say something. But at the same point, at the same time, I like the unfluted cylinder, I like the wood grips, you know, um, I'll make the adjustment. Aesthetically, it looks like shit when it's that far off, but as functionality, as long as it functions properly, which I'm sure it will, that's the main concern. What I thought was cool, let me cover up the number, but um, if you look at the spent shell casing, <laughs> shell casing, sorry, um, 729, 2011, today's date, August 2nd. Holy shit. Talk about fresh off the press. I mean, I've never had something fresh off the press. Smith must have sent it directly right off the freaking, right off the uh, factory floor, man. You know, that's insane. But anyway, appreciate all the support you guys have given me. Hopefully this will shed some light on, you know, you guys and, uh, and Smith and you know oh I know what I wanted to add sorry sorry I kind of got a sidetrack here um, in talking with the customer service manager she seemed very 
uh, um, uncaring about the fact that, you know, I said, look, the, my J frame's perfect. Every, you know, the large X frame seems fine. It's these L frames, man, that are just coming out. They're pumping, you guys are pumping them out, you know, with canted barrels, you know? What do you have to say for that, you know? And she said um, that that's just, that's just the way they're coming out and there's nothing she can do about it is basically what she told me. Um, and I just thought that was, that was a shocker. That was a wake up call to me because they just don't care. They're doing such mass quantity. I mean, she kept quoting statistics and sales, how many hundreds of thousands of guns they sell. She doesn't give a shit about little old me buying one revolver. You know, she cares about the South American contract that, that ordered 100,000 guns last month, you know? Um, so, I'm, you know, one person's not gonna make headway. Um, I do recommend you guys send it in you know, just so they're aware, or at least call them. Call call Kate, the customer service manager. I think it's Kate for debt. And mention to her that you had this problem just because they're, I, I don't think enough people are calling in with this issue, to be honest with you. I think they're just bitching online and just not bothering sending it in because, uh, I mean, I asked her, I was like straight up, you know, is this an issue? She's like, yeah, but it's, you know, it's not, um, it's not that rampant. Well, it seems to be at least with the amount of pistols I've seen coming out of there. So, anyway, take it for what it's worth. Good luck to you all, and thanks for...